The Titanic is likely the most famous ship to ever be built and was considered by man to be completely unsinkable. However, it smashed into an iceberg on its maiden voyage and sunk to the bottom of the ocean. But did you know that since its sinking, several priceless artifacts have been collected from the rubble? Each piece tells a story of truth, human fate, and the terrible circumstances of this once beautiful ocean liner. Two Pocket Watches Do you know that two pocket watches were found in the Titanic wreckage? One of these watches belonged to the late Sinai Cantor. He and his wife were aboard the ship when it crashed, and his wife managed to get on a lifeboat and survived the wreck. Sinai, however, was not as fortunate. He lost his life after freezing to death in the water. He was found eight days later, and his personal belongings were given to his wife. In his pocket, they found a pocket watch. She kept this watch as a memory of her husband for as long as she lived. It was sent to auction after she passed away. A second watch was found that is believed to have belonged to John Chapman, a second-class passenger. Amazingly, this watch was found to have stopped at the exact moment the ship sank at 1.45 a.m. A piece of the Titanic A huge piece of the Titanic was recovered from the ocean back in 1998. A team of researchers ventured to the bottom of the ocean and managed to bring back a piece of metal that had been on the ocean floor for nearly 100 years. The piece weighed more than 15 tons and was taken to a nearby museum to be restored. The piece now looks as though it's in amazing condition, all things considered. It is now located in an exhibit in Las Vegas, where visitors can stop by and check it out. Could you imagine how much effort must have gone into retrieving a 15-ton piece of metal from the ocean floor without damaging it? It must have been incredible to watch. What an amazing piece of history. Two important keys. Keys are always interesting because you never know what they may unlock. Some keys may hold the secrets to buried treasure, while others may open doors and allow us to explore amazing possibilities. Two keys were found in the wreckage of the Titanic. One key belonged to a 23-year-old man who passed away in the terrible incident. He was a third-grade steward named Sidney Sedunary. His rusty key was found among the wreckage and was taken to his pregnant wife as a memento. A metal plate hangs from the key, reading Locker 14 F Deck. We may never know what he kept in his locker, as it still resides at the bottom of the ocean. A second key was found and is believed to have belonged to Samuel Hemming, a crew member. The key opened the door to the lighting that would be used on lifeboats. Tragically, this key was used on the night that the captain gave the orders for the lifeboats to be used. Samuel did his best to equip the boats with the proper safety equipment. Though he was not able to board a boat himself, he passed away that evening. Finding a key that has been abandoned by its owner can be thrilling. You never know what it may unlock, but imagine finding keys that belong to locks that were on board the Titanic. Lillian Asplund This woman lived on after the crash and became one of the only remaining living passengers aboard the Titanic at the time it sank in that awful tragedy. She passed away when she was 99 years old. She was very young when the ship set sail. She would rarely ever talk about her experience that night, but she told the story of her father and her three brothers who passed away. She said that her mother and her youngest brother were all granted access to a lifeboat just moments before the boat was set to leave the wreckage. As she floated away from the sinking ship, she watched as her father and three brothers stood at the edge of the railing, accepting their fate. Her father's body was later located, but none of her brothers were ever found. Inside her father's pocket, rescue personnel found several items. He had been holding a pocket watch, his wedding ring, his Titanic ticket, and a few letters. 
All of these items remained intact as they had been shielded from the water between his shirt and his life jacket. One of the letters was from his mother, who bid him and his family farewell as they set sail for a new life in California. It's amazing to see so many titanic artifacts popping up in museums across the globe, but we are glad to see that Lillian was able to hang on to her father's possessions for a little bit longer after that fateful day. Life Jackets there are known to have been at least 3,560 life jackets on board the Titanic. There were only 2,208 passengers on board at the time of the tragedy, and nearly every passenger wore a jacket at the time of the sinking. Sadly, there were not enough lifeboats to save everyone. These jackets would help ensure that no one drowned in the event of a crash, though the jackets could not save them from the icy cold water. Only 12 jackets were recovered from the wreckage, and the Titanic exhibit in Las Vegas has seven of them. One of these jackets belonged to the famous Lucy Duff Gordon. She was a well-known designer at the time who would work with models and take part in runway shows. She was on the Titanic alongside her husband. While Lucy was picked up from a lifeboat by the Carpathia, her husband did not survive that evening. While floating to safety aboard the Carpathia, she proposed that each of the survivors would sign each other's life jackets in remembrance of that terrible day. Her famous signature can be seen on the life jacket of her secretary, Laura Francatelli. Even though these life jackets couldn't save the lives of everyone on board, they now serve as a haunting reminder to always check the safety equipment on your boat or ship before leaving the dock. The Last Violin Musicians who were on the Titanic made a heroic decision in their final hours on this earth. Many of the passengers were beginning to panic, as certain death was lingering only a few moments away. These musicians did everything within their power to calm the passengers and decided to serenade them as the ship slowly sank. Their music helped calm the minds and hearts of the children and adults on board and made their final moments a little bit easier. Several years after the ship sank, a small leather bag was recovered from the wreckage. The bag contained a violin that was believed to have belonged to one of the men who had been playing as the ship sank, Wallace Henry Hartley. An inscription was written on a metal tag that read, For Wallace, on the occasion of our engagement, from Maria. The violin was cleaned and given back to Wallace's former fiance, Maria Robinson. It must have been so bittersweet for Maria to have had this violin returned to her after all these years. It's difficult to understand the pain she must have felt when she lost her future husband, but hopefully that pain was softened by being reunited with one of Wallace's most prized possessions. Amy's Silver Bracelet the mystery surrounding this bracelet has puzzled researchers for over a hundred years. Rescuers found a rose gold bracelet with a name written in silver that simply read Amy. There were only two passengers on the Titanic with that name. One of them was a lower class passenger, meaning it is unlikely the bracelet belonged to her. Another was a first class passenger, though she never claimed the bracelet. Some have guessed that the bracelet could have been a gift, though it never made it to its destination. We don't have any evidence for this, and no one knows who the bracelet belonged to all these years later. It's unlikely we will ever know for sure. Bronze Statue We don't know too much about this statue, but a portion of a statue of a young boy was recovered from the wreckage. We know that this was a miniature version of a much larger statue, though all that remains is a small amount of the lower portion of it. The statue is believed to be a cherub that would have originally been holding a candle, but we don't know for sure. The statue made an appearance in the Titanic film from the late 1990s, with the staff who worked on the film doing their best to recreate the full original statue. 
The Last Letter from the Titanic For obvious reasons, most papers did not survive the infamous crash, though a handful of papers and letters were able to be recovered. Because of this, paper artifacts hold a real value to collectors and museums and are considered some of the most important pieces of Titanic history. Only one letter written on the official Titanic letterhead could be saved. This letter was written by a man in first class and was intended to be sent to his mother. The man was Oscar Holverson and wrote the letter just one day before the ship struck the iceberg. The letter was protected from the crash because it was kept in his jacket pocket, which was kept tightly closed by his life jacket. It's horribly sad to read such a heartfelt letter all these years later, but we're just happy it could be recovered. The Warning Bell the warning bell on board the Titanic played a major role in the ship's demise. A man was posted near the bell and it was his job to ring the bell if there was ever an emergency. The man was keeping a watchful eye on the night of the sinking, but he didn't notice the iceberg in time for the crisis to be avoided. He rang the bell at least three times. What do you see? Iceberg! Right ahead! Thank you. But we may never know why the crew members didn't react in time to save the ship. Many have blamed the captain, though others have blamed the crew members. Whatever went on that night, we will likely never know. But this bell served as the only means of announcing an emergency, though its loud rings were not enough to save the fate of thousands of people. The bell was recovered sometime later on the ocean floor, it was placed in the Titanic Museum in Massachusetts. What would you have done if you were on the Titanic and heard all of these warning bells going unanswered? It's such an eerie thing to think about. Which of these items did you find the most impressive? Let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.